Hey guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials, usually the cosplay twist, and lord does it feel good to be doing a body paint cosplay. <laughs> but today's video is special because I am doing a collab with Sarah Marie Marks here on YouTube, We're doing a Wonder Woman collab, so if you guys want to check out her video, I'll have it linked in the cards up above. But yeah, this, this was awesome. <laughs> Haven't done these in a while. Um, for the record, today's video is sponsored, but we'll get into that a lot later. How do you like my comic theme? <laughs> so, I'm gonna start- So we're gonna start off by applying foundation. This is literally the easiest part of this video. Um, if you are gonna block out your eyebrows, though, I would do your foundation after you do that. I didn't think this through all the way, but... Let's be honest, when do I ever think anything through? Then I'm going to use some concealer to highlight. Now for this, I'm not necessarily highlighting high points in my face. I'm kind of using it to change my face shape a little bit, so I'm highlighting where, like under my eyes like I normally would. I'm also taking into account where the highlights are in the picture that I'm looking at. So I can kind of, you know, make myself look a little more Wonder Woman-esque. Now depending on your face shape, you might have to highlight in different places. That would be completely up to you when you're actually doing this. And since this is about where it ends as far as the cream and liquid products, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with some powder. Since Wonder Woman basically has pencil eyebrows, and I do not, and I'm not willing to shave off my eyebrows, I'm gonna go ahead and use some glue stick to just kind of stick my brows down and put a crap ton of concealer on top to make them go away. <laughs> I'm gonna have a full video coming up in a few days on how to actually block out your brows, so if you guys want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, otherwise YouTube thinks that you were just joking when you did that. Gotta love that two-step authentication. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue stick in my eyebrows. Please, please use the washable kinds. <laughs> I also use the purple one so that way I know exactly when the glue is done drying because it dries clear. Like I said, with the highlighting, we're going to go ahead and contour, but not necessarily where you would normally contour. We're trying to add shadows to the face um, in strategic places, especially considering that I'm looking at um, an inspiration picture, so I want to mimic that as much as possible. Wonder Woman has a more... I wouldn't say, yeah, I'd say angled face than I do. My face is nice and round. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and contour to try to make mine look a little bit more angled. I'm also going to apply contour in any places that she has shadows just because of lighting or anything like that. Different face shapes, you're going to want to contour in different places, so just keep that in mind. Then, because in the picture that I was looking at, she had some blush going on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush. I also made sure that my contour was pretty blended because in the picture that I was looking at, it wasn't so much like an Instagram kind of contour where you can see it, it was more like that's what her face looks like. So also keep that in mind when you're doing these. Then once your brows went from purple to normal brow color, I'm going to go ahead and set that glue with some uh, powder. Yeah. This is basically so that everything that goes on will do what I say. And so that way um, the water from any liquid products I put on top of it doesn't make it move around and completely mess up your stuff. Then, as promised, we're going to go ahead and put some concealer, you can use foundation, anything that is a little more full coverage on top of your brows to kind of lock in that we're making them disappear. <laughs> um, ideally, you would have done this before you did your foundation, but like I mentioned before, I don't plan these things out very well. I apparently like to do all my cosplays and body paints and things in the most inconvenient ways possible. So I can warn you guys not to do it the way I do. <laughs> I also set my brows with powder, so just make sure you do that before you start doing this. 
I'm gonna take uh, some black body paint and draw in my eyebrows. Now I am really happy with this because I got this new um, teeny tiny paintbrush that I'm using now at Michael's and I love it. I don't know. Little things make me happy. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and draw my brows. Um, you can do them however you want at this point to be completely honest. I decided to go more like comic booky, and I don't know why, but every and I might be lying, but most comic book characters have really, really thin eyebrows. If somebody could find me one that has thicker eyebrows, so I don't have to do this. That will be my next video. <laughs> I'm gonna preface this with no, I'm not naked because I get asked that a lot, which you guys will see later. So there's that. Um, and I'm gonna start off this part by drawing in the white collar. I'm doing the Wonder Woman from, I think it's DC 41 or something. One of the newer Wonder Woman characters where she has a new uniform. That's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that collar in. I'm starting off doing the big chunks of color before I start doing any more detail stuff just so I kind of have a good idea of what's going on and then I can do more detail. Next I'm going to start painting on her chest piece. Um, like I said before, I'm doing one of the newer Wonder Woman costumes so it's going to look a little different than what you used to. That's okay. Um, with this color make sure that you really take your time to not get a patchy application. If you're new to doing um, any kind of work with water activated paints, getting the water to paint ratio might be a little bit, so you might have to go over a couple times to really get it right. But take your time while doing it. There is no rush. And if you are in a rush, you probably shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I think I'm hilarious, but I don't think anybody else does. It's okay though. We're gonna go in for yellow. Now for this, if anybody missed this lesson in elementary school, when you mix green or blue and yellow you get green, so be smarter than I am, or at least less lazy, and just wipe off that blue spot if you mess it up. Yep. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and draw in the eagle that's on the front part of her chest piece, and also she has like armor on her arms so we're gonna go ahead and draw those in too don't worry too much about the detail stuff because like I said earlier we're gonna be doing all that later I just want to get all of the bigger pieces of color done so that way it's one less thing to worry about and blending into something that's already has the color down is way easier than trying to figure out a way to not mess up the blending that you just did also, next I'm going to add in some white stars. I left the gap for those stars a little bit too big, so I wound up going in with yellow a little bit later and kind of filling that in. Um, I'm not that great at drawing stars without the lines in the middle, uh, so then I realized I'm going to fill it in anyway so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so that's what I did, basically. Next we're going to go back in with that yellow and just kind of finish up the armor part on her arms. Um, so I'm going to fill in around the star, the places where I didn't put white, and I'm also going to make sure to leave a space for, um, or at least the shape for her armor for when I do the rest of my arm in blue. Then I'm going to go in with more of that blue. And I'm gonna make sure to leave a spot for her arm gauntlets. Really want to make sure you leave a spot for that, because no matter what the costume, Wonder Woman has those. <laughs> then I'm gonna take some red body paint and I'm going to apply that to the rest of my chest area. I told you I wasn't naked. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Um, Try to be careful not to mix it with the yellow because we all remember what happened last time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about this. Like this part is kind of boring because it's just laying down the big pieces of color. So there's not really much to tell you guys to do there except to take your time and make sure that you really get it as opaque as you need to. 
because going over it again later is going to be a real pain in the butt. Then for the last big block of color, I'm going to go ahead and yellow out, I would say white out, but no, I'm going to yellow out the um, space for the arm gauntlets. Because we already have that blue there, you want to really be sure to be careful um, that you don't mix your colors. Do as best a job as you can. Worst case scenario, this is water activated paint, just get some water and possibly some soap of some kind and just take it off. Now for the part that actually brings it all together. <laughs> We're going to be doing all the outlining first, um, mostly to break up some of those shapes that I have. Also, there are some parts that need to be outlined, you'll see what I mean as you watch this. Um, and I also added in some shadows and shading, not too much because I did do a lot of it with some eyeshadow later on, but I wanted to include some in this. Now I'm going to stop talking and just let you guys watch what I'm doing because honestly it's a lot easier if you see what's happening as opposed to me trying to explain it. So I'll turn the music up and I will be back later. So to add some more dimension and awesomeness, I'm going to take some dark blue eyeshadow and apply a little bit more shadow on the blue areas of this body paint. You don't have to technically do it with blue eyeshadow, you can use lighter body paints. I just really like doing this. I find that it blends a little bit easier and I haven't found the right consistency to be able to do shading with body paint. One day though. 
one day. And then instead of using a dark yellow eyeshadow, I decided to go with a brown one. Because to me that made sense. Um, and same thing, I'm just going to be applying some shadows into places that need them. And I feel like it makes it look a little bit cooler. I don't know. That might just be me. You guys let me know. And then because you cannot shade without also highlighting, I'm going to highlight any point that I feel like needed some, especially around, or I should say near the parts that I added some shadow to. Kind of makes it look a little more three-dimensional. And if you look at anything, like anytime there's a shadow on it, like any object, there's going to be a highlight right next to it. So that brings a little more realism into it. This wouldn't be Wonder Woman without the crown, so, or tiara. It's more like a tiara, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some yellow body paint to my forehead um, because I have a reversed widow's peak that's actually kind of worked out for me, except when I put my wig on, you can see anything after that, so maybe not. But I'm going to go ahead and apply some yellow body paint all in that. And then I'm going to draw in the red star. Don't worry so much about all the outlining and stuff. Worry about getting the basic shapes first, and then we'll go into detail stuff later. I learned this the hard way a long time ago. You can't do everything at one time. Once you have your star drawn on, then you can actually start doing the detail stuff. So I would suggest drawing out your outline first, and then start doing the stuff in the inside of the triangle. Or if you want to do it the way I did it, I started trying to keep a very careful eye on where I was putting things um, and kind of outlining as I was filling in the black areas as well. That part's really up to you, as long as it looks right, that's all that matters. And then for my boyfriend's favorite part, I really need to get some contacts. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and draw my eyes on my eyelids. Um, I started off literally by just following the shape of my eyelid, just following the crease of my eye and filling everything in with white. Then once you have your eye, yeah, your eye on there, I'm going to go ahead and outline it with some black body paint. Now I did do my liner and stuff as well, I figured while we're there, might as well. Then I went in with some light blue body paint and put her eyes in. Some versions of Wonder Woman have her with darker blue eyes. The one I was looking at had lighter blue. That part is really up to you. Um, so I did that and then I outlined her iris. I can never remember. I think it's an iris. Yeah, it's the color part of her eye. Um, and then I drew in her pupil. When it comes to the pupil, please, please learn from my mistakes and make sure that you get them even. A good way is to focus on one spot on a mirror and just try to keep your head in the same spot so you can see what you're doing. Also keep in mind that unless your eyes are completely closed, it's not gonna look the same if you completely close your eyes to take pictures. So if you're Basically, if your eyes are like three quarters of the way shut and you draw your pupil in and they're completely even then, it doesn't necessarily mean that when you completely close your eyes that it's still going to be even, which is the case for this one. You'd think I'd remember that, but no, I do not do that. Also, um, when you're doing the sketch marks on her face to make you look a little bit more cartoony, Keep in mind that you want to do those in places where you would see a comic book character have them. So like, the nose, you want to make sure it looks like they have a nose. Um, usually they'll have it um, in the hollows of their cheeks so you can see where they are. Get that more of a chiseled face kind of look. So little things that make it, that actually do make a huge difference if I'm being completely honest. Almost forgot to do the lipstick, but I didn't, and that's all that matters. <laughs> so I'm gonna apply, um, kind of like a pinky, sort of, not really, I don't know, lipstick. It's Lolita from Kat Von D, if that helps anybody. 
Um, and then I'm gonna go in with some black body paint and do in those extra sketch lines. And that, aside from putting a wig on, is it. <laughs> but as I mentioned some odd years ago, this video is sponsored by me. I have a merch store, so if you guys want to get some cool t-shirts and stickers and hoodies and stuff, I'll have that linked in the description down below. But that, that's... Don't you love how I turn into Porky Pig for a second? Maybe I'll do that next. <laughs> but as I said earlier, this video is a collab with Sarah Marie Marks, so if you guys haven't checked out her video before this long, long video, <laughs> go check her out now. She did an amazing job with her Wonder Woman. She's awesome. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next, and let me know what other body paints you guys want to see me do. I enjoy doing them probably way too much. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!